format of the examination in the syllabus RTR exam that is going to be held by DGC. Why do you need to give this RTR exam? The basic pattern of the examination is such that it will be conducted in two parts. The interview part has been subsided. The written examination has been exempted. Directly go for a practical examination. The first thing you will need is a computer number. Once you have a computer number, you can go to the validity of this written exam will be from the date of passing. Namaskaram everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing about the format of the examination, the syllabus, the eligibility criteria of the RTR exam that is going to be held by DGCA. Just a brief information about the regulations that the Aircraft Act of 1934 was repealed by the Bharatiya Vayu Yana of 2024, which conferred the powers on the central government executed via DGCA to take the exam that is to certify licensed candidates for operating the radio telephony apparatus. In pursuance to this act, under the section 10, the powers can be conferred, which are used under section 34 of the Bharti Vayuyana Dhiniyam of 2024. The government issued new rules, that is, the radio telephony operators restricted certificate and licensing rules of 2025. Under these rules, which have been published by the powers conferred by section 34 of the said act, now has given powers to DGCA and some rules related to how the examination for the RTR would look like for DGCA. In subsequent to these rules, a draft of a new car has been published, which is for the Section 7 Series F Part 6, which now has the details of how the examination for the RTR will be conducted by Directorate General of Civil Aviation. This was just a brief revision that how the powers have come upon the DGCN, how they have executed this via the Bharti Vayuyan Adhiniyam, then RTR OL rules, then the car section 7 series F part 6. Now summarizing all of this, I am presenting you everything related to the RTR exam. And now you must know that why do you need to give this RTR exam that is now being conducted by DGCN? The simple reason is that you want your CPL. And if you want to get your CPL, you need your FRTOL. And if you want to get your FRTOL, the rules mandate that you must have this license in your hand. And that is the reason why you are actually appearing for this exam and you're clearing this exam. Now, talking about the eligibility criteria. The eligibility criteria for appearing in the exam is that you must be above 16 years of age. You must have passed your 10th examination and you must be a citizen of India in case you are not, not a problem, but you will have to take a special permission from the central government. Now, we'll talk about the basic pattern of the examination. The basic pattern of the examination is such that it will be conducted in two parts. First is the written exam and second is the practical exam. Unlike the RTR exam which was conducted by WPC in which you used to have a practical exam and then you used to have an interview, the interview part has been subsided and now what you have is a written examination that will be your part one and your part two will actually be your practical test related to your uh, RT. Now, the written examination has been exempted for some people. These includes that, uh, first of all, any veteran of the Indian Air Force, Navy or Army, which has a flying experience of more than 1500 hours need not to go for the written examination, or a person who is holding a valid RTR license issued under the Indian Wireless Telegraphy Rules of 1954, or a person who has a FRTOL license which has been issued by any Commonwealth country or Philippines. If you are lying in any of these categories, you can omit to appear for the written examination and directly go for your practical examination to get your RTR license. Talking about the details of the written examination now, as the exam is now being conducted by DGCA, the written exam will be conducted in a similar manner as we give the other DGC exams, that is for uh, meteorology, regulations, navigation, technical general. For that, the first thing you will need is a computer number. Once you have a computer number, you can go to Pariksha portal, go to Pariksha portal, check the dates for the exam, appear for the written exam, which will be again an MCQ based exam, 50 questions, 70% passing, same as the meteorology and regulations. You appear for that, you get 70% marks, you clear that exam and now you become eligible to appear for the practical examination. Now remember this, that once you pass your written exam, once you pass your written exam, the validity of this written exam will be from the date of passing up to three years. In between these three years, you must clear the practical examination so that you can apply for your RTR license issued by the central government. So in addition to this, the fees for the written exam will be 2000 rupees. And once you get your license to apply, to get your FRTOL license, will be, which will be valid for 80, up to 80 years of age, 
will be around 5000 rupees now the people who are falling under those three categories who are given an exemption from the written examination they have to apply for getting an exemption on the egca portal based upon which category they fall into now after scrutinizing on egca they will be given a certificate of exemption based upon which they will be able to apply for their practical examination now the validity of the three years of the written examination for these people will lie from the date on which this exemption was issued unlike for the other people who pass their written examination moving on to the practical examination now to appear for the practical examination you can appear for practical exam only three times in this period of three years if you fail three times in the practical examination now your written examination paper also becomes invalid when it becomes invalid you now if you want to subsequently attempt for your practical examination you will have to reappear for your written exam only then will you be able to apply for your practical examination as far as talking about the practical examination the practical examination portal will be opening in egca and not pariksha portal the admit card issuance everything related to the practical examination will be carried out on the egca portal and not the pariksha portal the fees of the examination will be 500 rupees so it will be a practical examination a thorough communication between a pilot and an atc it is just like that the pattern of the examination will be that a person will be sitting on rt you will be sitting on rt you will be uh, expected to give calls follow the regulations as laid down in the procedure the passing marks for this exam will be 50% once you score 50% you will be declared pass in this practical examination Now the duration of the exam will be approximately about 30 minutes and in case you miss the in case you miss appearing for the examination it will be counted as a valid attempt for that practical examination unlike it happens for the dgca papers also there is a ban for a person who fails in any of the exam that you will have a bar to reappear for the exam within 42 days or we can say that 6 weeks from the date of failing now once you have cleared both your written paper and your practical examination you will be issued your rtr license for the syllabus of your rtr written examination you can refer to the annexure a of this of that specific car that is being related to must check because as of now there is a draft car some changes might come up in the syllabus as well or they might not so whenever you are appearing for the exam just go and refer to the latest syllabus which has been updated in the car and you can refer to the cars annexure a that is the car section 7 series f part 6 and extra a will define that what will be the syllabus for your uh, written examinations this just one which you saw on your screens right now so again this is a very initial video to let you know that what is being happening around the rtr exam there will be many new things that will be coming up to the exam so to be updated to stay updated with the new rules keep following us follow us on our instagram handle as well we keep posting new reels related to the new regulations and updated content on instagram and the long format content obviously on the youtube if you have any further doubts you can let us know in the comments below follow us for more videos such like this follow us on instagram as well and uh, hope you'll share this with your friends i hope this video brought some value to you this is animesh sanyal signing off namaskar